welcome back. Today I decided to break out some more palettes that I had forgotten about. Um, so these are both palettes that have been discontinued. Um, they were limited edition, so sorry about that, but um, I just I wanted to try to get some use out of them because I forgot about them. But, um, so I have the Pastel Goth palette from Kat Von D. I don't buy anything from Kat Von D anymore, but, um, I bought this before all the crap came out about her. And it's a really pretty palette. I can't bear to part with it because it is really pretty. And it's a nice formula, so, yeah. And then I also have the Elf and J. Kissa palette, which looks like that. Oh, I could have used the highlighter in here. Whoops, I already did my face and everything. But, um, yeah, so these are the palettes I'm going to be using today. And I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. I'm going to start with this purpley pink right here. It's called Meow. And I'm going to start, I'm going to place this on the inner portion of my crease, just kind of blend that in. gonna go into dope right here why not and then we're just gonna continue on with the rainbow here I'm gonna go into doom And then finally I'm going into gloom right here. I'm going to take a Q-tip, there's nothing on here, um, so I don't want to remove any of the concealer or whatever I've got under my eye, I just want to clean this up a little bit, alright, I'm just taking my concealer, And let's see how this goes. I think I might take I think I'm just going to take the highlighter shade in here. This is, it's called 23. And I'm just going to take that on the same brush. I cleaned it off. And I'm just going to pat that over the top of the concealer. Do. 
I'm just experimenting here. I'm gonna take my moon, which is this rusty red kind of shade. I'm gonna take that on an angled eyeliner brush. She dusted. And I'm going to take a thinner brush here in a second and wing that out, make it look a bit sharper, but just so I get a more precise point, I'm taking a much finer eyeliner brush. Sorry, I can't talk and do this at the same time, so I'm taking a finer eyeliner brush and I'm just going over that to uh, darken up the red, make it more intense, and also give myself a really sharp wing. This is like the most out there look I've done in a while. Right, so now I'm taking a clean blending brush and I'm just going over the part of my moon that's like right under my lash line. You know what, I'm going to take some more of that highlighter on, um, so I'm going to take some more of this shade. just going to define that section between my moon and, uh, Going back to my previous eyeliner brush, I'm going to go into this shade right here, this orangey one called Mac and Cheese. That's going to go right next to my moon. I'm going to take a little bit of Star from the Kat Von D palette and I'm going to use that right at the end of Mac and Cheese and then I'm going to go in with Alien which is this really light green from the J Kissa palette. Okie dokie. And then for my inner corner and brow bone, I'm just going to go in with 23 again. I want to do a little more to this space. And then I'm going to take this color right here, it's called Danger, and I'm going to put that, I'm not going to go all the way across my lid. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop that. Brush down. I'm gonna go in with some mascara real quick and then I'll decide if I want to do falsies or not. I 
don't know if I'm doing false seams. <laughs> I'm going to go do the other eye, and by the time I come back, I will have decided. And so you will know if I am doing false seams or not. So be right back. Alright, here is the finished look. I did go ahead and do lashes. Um, these are from uh, Lunar Angel Lashes and they're in the style Oblivion. I'm having some issues today getting them to stick the way I want, so if they look bad, it's because they don't want to cooperate. But, um, yeah, so that is it for me. Um, if you'd like to know everything that I used, it will, of course, be down in the description box. Um, I don't know what else to say. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, uh, or maybe let me know in the comments down below. Um, I don't know. Outros are awkward. I never know exactly what to say. Um, so I'm just going to go. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!